Given that the witness has indicated that he does not intend to answer any questions and out of respect for his constitutional rights, I ask now that the committee excuse the witness from the table without, without objection, so ordered. We'll pause for a moment as Mr. Screlly is escorted out. This was a um, uh, frustrating morning for us because I think Mr. Screlly would like nothing more than to answer the committee's questions, and I think he would have very good answers. Um, he has agreed, uh, because of the pending indictment in the Eastern District of New York, to follow my advice and not answer any questions and invoke his Fifth Amendment privilege, and I think that was the appropriate advice under the circumstances. Uh, the gentleman on the committee who discussed the Fifth Amendment, with all due respect, uh, had no idea what he was talking about, given the state of the law as I understand it to be. Mr. Screlly has a perfect right to invoke his Fifth Amendment and to be ridiculed uh, for it is uh, just uh, unfair and inappropriate. I would also tell you that Mr. Screlly did not intend to show any disrespect uh, for any members of the committee, listened intently. Some of what you saw was nervous energy by an individual who very much would like to explain what happened but is uh, agreed to listen to uh, his lawyer who has uh, been around this block I think several hundred times over the last 40 years. I think it's extraordinarily unfair that Turing has been singled out for the type of unfair publicity that they have received and when all of the facts about Daraprim and Turing are ultimately disclosed I think everyone will recognize that Mr. Screlly is not a, vinyl, a villain, he's not the bad boy, I think at the end of this story he is a hero.